What's up, buddy? All right, is your puppy taking the robe? Yeah. All right. When they said we were handing out caps and gowns, it was like, okay, we're here. You know, what went day and how long do you need us? These kids have been in school for 13 years, so um, we have to celebrate them. With the graduation ceremony canceled because of coronavirus, creativity and compassion are some of the final important lessons for the Westminster High School class of 2020. It's a real big rite of passage and it might be um, the only time they put on a cap and gown for the rest of their lives. With students in cars and teachers at a safe distance, one by one seniors pulled up to get their cap and gown and a sign to put in their yard celebrating their accomplishment. This was step one in creating a virtual graduation. I talk about family all the time with our community, um, not just our staff and our students, but our uh, parents as well, that we are just one big family and we've got to kind of get through this stuff together. Once home, the students are taking their own pictures of themselves in cap and gown and sending the photo back to school. Honor grad, Gabriella Monique Katu. Every student has an academic enrichment advisor each of whom came into school to read the names of their graduates. It's a virtual human touch. Even though we are not physically with you on May 16th, um, you are in all of our hearts and our minds, and we're so very, very proud of everybody. All of the grad photos and videos are being sent to Vigo Pictures in Hollywood, a world-class production company that will pull all of the elements together to create a classy virtual graduation. Normally, this is the time that we do pretty much nothing but seniors. And so to not work so closely with them and monitor them and um, be able to have close contact with them is really hard for us. And then also just like kind of grieve the process of not being able to say goodbye to them in the way that we would want to. I want to hug every single one of my seniors and to know that you can't and you can't hug your colleagues and it's challenging. But for now anyway, virtual hugs will have to do.